July 2, 2024. Tuesday of the 13th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O people of Israel, against the whole family that I brought up out of the land of Egypt, you only have I known of all the families of the earth, therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. Do two walk together, unless they have agreed to meet? Does a lion roar in the forest, when he has no prey? Does a young lion cry out from his den, if he has taken nothing? Does a bird fall in a snare on the earth, when there is no trap for it? Does a snare spring up from the ground, when it has taken nothing? Is a trumpet blown in a city, and the people are not afraid? Does disaster come to a city, unless the Lord has done it? For the Lord God does nothing without revealing his secret to his servants the prophets. The lion has roared, who will not fear? The Lord God has spoken, who can but prophesy? I overthrew some of you, as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, and you were as a brand plucked out of the burning, yet you did not return to me, declares the Lord. Therefore thus I will do to you, O Israel, because I will do this to you, prepare to meet your God, O Israel. The Word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm Response, Lead me, Lord, in your justice. You are no God who delights in evil. No sinner is your guest. The boastful shall not stand their ground. Before your eyes. Lead me, Lord, in your justice. All who do evil you despise. All who lie you destroy. The deceitful and those who shed blood, the Lord detests. Lead me, Lord, in your justice. Yet through the greatness of your merciful love. I enter your house. I bow down before your holy temple. In awe of you. Lead me, Lord, in your justice. Alleluia, Alleluia. I long for the Lord, in his word I hope. Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. At that time, when Jesus got into the boat, his disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great storm on the sea, so that the boat was being swamped by the waves, but he was asleep. And they went and woke him, saying, Save us, Lord, we are perishing. And he said to them, Why are you afraid, O you of little faith? Then he rose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. And the men marveled, saying, What sort of man is this, that even winds and sea obey him? The Gospel of the Lord Reflection Tuesday, 13th week in Ordinary Time for the first readers of Matthew's Gospel the story of the storm at sea which we have just heard would have resonated with their own experience. The church would often have found themselves praying the prayer of the disciples in the boat, Save us, Lord, we are going down. We may have prayed a version of that prayer ourselves, either in relation to our own personal lives or in relation to the life of the church as a whole. In the Gospel reading, Jesus addresses his fearful disciples as people of little faith. They are somewhere between no faith and full faith. Many of us can find ourselves in that in-between place, people of little faith, especially when the storms threaten to engulf us. We can easily identify with the prayer of the man in the Gospels, Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. Jesus, who had been asleep in the storm, brought the fragile boat with its fearful disciples through the storm into a place of calm. In stormy times that expose our vulnerability and frailty, the Lord remains with the Church and with each of us as individuals, keeping us steady and guiding us to our destination. This passage would have reassured Matthew's Church and can reassure us today that the Lord is always stronger than the storm which threatens to overwhelm us.